and his daughter-in-law and her husband in church. The man who made the call is now in a wheelchair. He's well into his 80s, but they are as grateful today as ever that somebody cared enough to help them. Many of the, the cases I've been involved with, and perhaps some of you are involved people are that are involved what we might call throwaway children, but they weren't discarded. Somebody cared enough to take them, show them love, and give them hope. Why do I tell you about these? You know, I don't consider the actions that I did to have been that profound, but they made a difference. And as you become aware of challenges that others face, you might be able to help too. Perhaps just by offering a word of encouragement that helps write another wonderful story. I also want to tell you about a long journey that's lasted more than 20 years. When, when I was in the Senate, I introduced legislation to ensure that a parent would have to consent to a young daughter's abortion decision, just like we do for any other medical uh, decision. In Alaska, a girl as young as 13 or 14 could get an abortion without her parents even knowing about it. Well, with strong support from colleagues in the legislature, we overcame a governor's veto and passed that legislation. That's the good news. Well, Planned Parenthood and abortion providers sued to keep that law from being enforced. And that was the start of a 10-year battle in the courts with the Supreme Court, get this, eventually saying, we agree that the state of Alaska has an important governmental interest in the health of children and protecting them from their own immaturity. But parental consent is not the least restrictive way to do this. But listen carefully. If you come back with parental notification instead of consent, we would have to reconsider our decision. Well, we did that in 2010 when we took that to the people of Alaska. Ballot measure two, and it passed overwhelmingly. Thank you. In the first year, that was in effect. We're told that saved 26 lives, and it continued for the next four years. I'd like to meet some of those 130 people someday. However, in a great travesty of justice and a show of arrogance, the Alaska Supreme Court in July 2016 said that even parental notification is unconstitutional. The only justice who got it right was Chief Justice Craig Stowers. The court issued that opinion despite the fact that 41 states have some type of parental involvement provisions in their statutes, all allowed by the U.S. Supreme Court, and even ultra-liberal Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg supports these provisions. So, what did four justices on Alaska's Supreme Court find unique in Alaska's Constitution that no one else could find? They used 80 pages of legal sophistry to justify a position that makes absolutely no sense. The truth is, they lied. Planned Parenthood and their cohorts are dead wrong. And even though the law is really about parental rights. Because it touches on abortion, it threatens their business. The court demonstrated it too is ruled by ideology, not legal reasoning. They lied to the people of Alaska, they lied to our legislature, and they lied to the governors who have supported the law. Well, those of us who have a respect for human life and parental rights have difficulty understanding why doctors would even consider operating on a child without parental involvement. And we certainly have difficulty understanding 
why Alaska's Supreme Court would poke us in the eye, suggesting it knows more about parental rights than we do. These judges should be held responsible. If we allow decisions like this to go unchallenged, or put the wrong people on the courts, or confirm them when they're already there, we can expect judges to continue to run roughshod over we the people, the real owners of our Constitution. I challenge the governor and the legislature to fix this, and I ask you to stay involved. There will be opportunity for you to stand up and speak up. You're privileged to live right here in the capital city, even if it does snow. <laughs> do what many Alaskans can't do easily. Come to the capital and testify on important issues. I'm not giving up. I'll be standing with you. And may God be with you as you go. Thank you, Lauren, for those great words. I would like to just take this opportunity to publicly thank Keith Giles for over the years, for many years now, is giving us this.